Okay, kumusta? Magandang ha- magandang na ba? Tanghali po diyan sa Philippines. I think 2:30 na no na ang nang hapon diyan sa Philippines. I'm so excited. This is weekend. And um yeah, uh thank you po sa mga nanonood no ng videos ko. And today, I'm very excited and very passionate to start something really exciting ano na sa tingin ko is going to touch lots of lives of millions of many Filipinos out there na um ma- magiging member nitong group na to. So hi Ate Elizabeth, hi Sha. Okay, thank you so much for joining. So I'm very excited no dahil last time, uh kwento ko lang yung story ko sa inyo. Um there was a, a Filipina woman na nagsabi sa akin, Princess, I am not an entrepreneur type of person. Pero paano natin matutulungan yung mga tao na wala silang desire na maging entrepreneur? Pero marami silang talents and skills, okay? Uh, marami silang passion, marami silang hobbies. So, hi Renaline, hi friend! Hi, Jay Waltz from Singapore, uh, mga kaibigan ko dyan sa Philippines. So guys, naniniwala ba kayo na ang mga Pilipino, bukod sa magaganda at mga pogi, <laughs> ay ate Marie Claire Kilgap, um, we are so talented, we are so, uh, tawag dito, we are so passionate in what we do, we are so skillful, and sa totoo lang, napaka-madiscate natin, no? napaka-tangino natin, okay? And napaka-maraming mga OFW. Hi po, at Elizabeth. Ang talagang masasabi natin na sobrang uh, galing nila, no, when it comes to so many, so many jobs or uh, profession, they have their uh, expertise, ano. Pero bakit ganun, ano? Bakit parang ang hirap pa rin talaga ng buhay sa Pilipinas? And masasabi natin na talagang Marami yung hindi nagiging successful, marami yung hindi nagiging, uh, let's say, hindi nila natutupad yung mga pangarap nila no, sa kabila ng lahat ng talent na yun. So guys, let me know kung, ano, kung maririnig nyo ba ako na maayos. Could you please tell me para alam ko. Malakas ba? Malakas ba yung naririnig nyo ba ako na maayos? Please comment on the, ano, sa, sa screen nyo po. Kung naririnig nyo po ako na maayos, please uh, give me a thumbs up or send yes kung naririnig nyo po ako na maayos. Okay. Okay, yes daw. Okay, that's great. So, siguro lilipat tayo ng upo, ano, so I can do it for him. Shout out dyan, CC. Count me in. It's it's hard hot in here in the Philippines. Okay, okay. Saglit na nga, ilipat tayo ng seat. Hi! Okay, ang dami na nating viewers. So, let lang ha. We're going to move, guys. Because <laughs> medyo dumami yung tao sa coffee shop. Biglang pumasok. So, we have to move outside. Let lang po. Yes, loud and clear. Wow, that's good. Okay. So, labas lang tayo, guys. Okay. Oops! <laughs> Ito tayo sa labas. Medyo mahina nga lang yung internet dito. So, kumusta naman po kayo dyan sa Philippines? Mainit ba ngayon? Summer? Okay. Unexpected. Okay na sana ako dun sa upuan niya. Okay. Medyo mahina nga lang yung dito. But let's try. I'm very excited guys na ituro sa inyo. Sobrang dami kong gustong um, i-share. Okay? Sobrang daming mga values na sana maka-touch ng lives ng maraming tao. Ano? So, now I created this uh, group of people na ay group on Facebook na I hope uh, makatulong sa maraming Pilipinos na, na sa tingin ko very talented and very sorry very talented and very skillful ano pero we need to give them uh, the chance na mapakinabangan nila yung kanilang talent and skills okay so yung question ko kanina naniniwala ba kayo na ang mga pinoy ay matatalino bukod sa magaganda po gi at cute <laughs> ay mga skillful and very talented people naniniwala ba kayo doon guys 
super hot here. <laughs> okay po, Tita Elizabeth. Okay lang po yan. Dito rin po mainit. Okay? So, there you go, guys. According to uh, Bo Sanchez, he's a very uh, helpful person, no? Kagaya, kagaya ko, we are giving remarkable change in this world. Um, gusto nating makatulong sa kapwa nating Pinoy. And he said, Filipinos are very talented, very skillful, but ang nangyayari, we are not um, financially literate. Karamihan sa atin ay not financially literate. So, we are going to give you some facts here, okay, about kung ano yung nangyayari sa Philippines. Ha, ha, ha. Si Tita. Si Tita Elizabeth. Okay, so, ang nangyayari ngayon sa Philippines, sabi dito, ang population ng Pilipinas ngayon, according to World Dometers, is that 100 million, 103 million, 360,478 uh, last March 22, 2017. Okay, and 1.38% ng buong mundo, Pilipino lang. Okay, so ang laki ng population natin guys, sobra. And ang sabi dito, only 32.2% lang ng land area ng buong Pilipinas ang nasasakahan at natatanim. Okay, so imagine mo yon halos wala pang uh, one-third ng buong Pilipinas ang natataniman enough to provide food para sa karamihan ng mga Pilipino. And ang sabi dito, eh, 10% nagdi-decrease siya every 10 years, every decade. So, hindi ka nagtataka, maraming Pilipino nahihirapan ng bumili ng bigas, isang kilong bigas, sa, ano, sa sahod nila na minimum wage ngayon, uh, according naman sa National Wage of Productivity Commission, ang minimum wage ngayon is 481 pesos plus 10 peso cola. At ito ay sa mga uh, cities ng Pilipinas. Ano. And if you're living in the province, um, ang, ang, ang kita ng mga tao is 255 peso to 270 peso plus 10 peso to 15 peso cola. So, naririnig nyo pa ba ako, guys? Okay, so, imagine nyo yun. So, ibig sabihin, sa hal kung nasa province ka, sa 255 peso, uh, limang kilong bigas lang ang kaya mong bilhin. Okay? <laughs> ang hirap nun, guys. So, do you think makakabuhay to ng pamilya? So, let's dig into more facts, okay? Um, sa OFW naman overseas, um, meron ng 2.4 million people worldwide. Uh, uh, in 2015 and 51.5 na mga tao na to worldwide ay nahihirapan talagang kumita ng pera uh, sa overseas, okay? So sabi dito, ang employment daw sa Pilipinas according to Labor Force uh, Survey o LFS 63.3 lang na mga Pilipino ang may trabaho Ouch! ba diba? So nasan yung 33%? 34.7% 30, uh, ng mga Pilipino, nasan sila? They don't have a job, guys. Okay? So, ngayon, ito yung mga facts na dapat natin gusto kong i-share sa inyo, ma-realize natin, mga Pilipino, na talagang napakahirap na sitwasyon. Now, um, ang gobyerno natin sa Philippines ay nagde-demand ng increase sa wage o salary ng mga ordinaryong Pilipino sa mga uh, investors and business people, pero hindi nila magawang uh, makapag-demand masyado ng increase ng wage dahil mataas yung competition sa Southeast Asia kung saan uh, mas mababa rin ang pasahod sa mga ordinaryong tao doon. Let's say uh, Sri Lanka, Vietnam, Thailand, okay, Cambodia. Kung uh, kaya nilang bayaran ng mga empleyado doon ng mas mababa pa sa minimum wage sa Pilipinas, bakit sila mag invest sa Pilipinas? So, sasabihin ngayon ng government natin, okay, sige, basta dito na lang kayo sa Philippines mag-invest, we will keep the minimum wage into this level. So, there is no way for Filipinos talaga na tumaas pa talaga yung um, tawag dito yung salary nila dahil nga sa sitwasyon na ganun. So, you understand guys? So, sa, sa 508, 481 pesos plus 10 peso cola nakita mo in minimum wage, less tax, tax, pag-ibig and everything, talagang napakahirap talagang umasenso no, sa Philippines. Now, um, bakit ko sinishare to? Okay? Competition and investment sa mga Southeast Asian countries. Why? Because I have the heart for so many Filipinos, especially OFWs, no? Kasi naniniwala ako, guys, that Filipinos are so... Ah, sobrang sipag natin. Sobrang talented. We are so smart. Madiskarte. And yung pagmamahal natin para sa pamilya natin nandun. Okay? We are so... We are so helpful. And kahit 
isusubo na lang natin, binibigay pa natin sa family natin, right? Pero how can you help if you yourself hindi enough yung meron ka? Okay? Tama ba, guys? Thank you so much for the likes. And, um, so, paano natin magagawa? Kung matalino tayo, madiskarte tayo, paano natin gagamitin yung skills natin, hobbies, and passion natin into actually making a profit? So, yun yung pag pagtutulungan natin. Now, sabi nung isa kong kaibig, na isa kong friend and uh, mentor, hello, shout out to my dear friend Catwoman, okay, with her code name, kasi I need to protect their names. Okay, sabi niya, Princess, um, you are doing so good, alam mo yun, and, and sabi niya nga sa akin, um, it is not really the way of making money o pag pagkakaroon ng maraming financial uh, capability ano alam nyo guys the more uh, you think about money the more actually you will fail pero kung you will be thinking about um, how many people you will help success is granted. So, yun yung pinag-usapan namin kanina. And there are so many, many of my mentors ang nagsasabi na um, we will be, we will keep on, hi, pinsan, Mark Anthony, hello, hello, kumusta ka dyan sa work mo sa St. Luke's? Anyway, so pinag-usapan namin kung paano makakatulong yung sa mga Pilipino magamit yung skills, talents, and hobbies nila into turning it into profit. Okay, so ayun nga, no? So, maraming mga maraming mga gurus and maraming mga tao sa buong mundo na gusto nilang i-share yung talent and skills nila uh, sa mga newbies and mga tao na nagsisikap pa lang na madiscover yung talent nila and mapakinabangan mo yung God-given talent mo into helping people and at the same time uplifting your life. Okay ba yan sa inyo, guys? So now, bibigyan kita ng mga examples, okay? So, sabi dito, uh, Sabi dito, kung saan ka raw magaling, kung saan ka raw merong may talent and may God-given skills, doon ka mag-focus. Dahil doon ka magiging successful. Sad to say, maraming Pilipino, kung hindi nila nagagawa to. Okay? Naniniwala ba kayo guys doon? Thumbs up naman dyan kung naniniwala kayo doon. Ay, wala ba kayo doon? Maraming graduate ng college, hindi, sila na, hindi nila nagawa na... Okay, as of now, isa na lang yung viewer na... Hindi nila nagawa na uh, makapag-focus sa kanilang skills, hindi nila nagawa na uh, doon sila makapag-focus sa talent talaga nila. Why? Kasi kung ano yung available na trabaho, yun ang pinagtsatsagaan nila. Tama ba? When you graduate in college, ang sasabihin mo sa... Thank you po sa like... Uh, sasabihin mo sa employer mo kahit anong trabaho na lang po basta may trabaho tama ba guys? marami ba sa inyo naka-experience yan? I know because I've been there okay? hindi ko din niya maging waitress pero tinanggap ko maging waitress janitress kung ano-ano pang trabaho na napakahirap kahit graduate ako ng college okay? marami ba nakaka-relate doon? and tatayo ka first 8 to 12 hours for a minimum wage and binsan OTY ang OT mo tama ba? hi Doc Mon kumusta po? So now guys, it breaks my heart so much na maraming Pinoy ang nagsasuffer ng ganun. Maraming Pilipino ang um, sobrang talented, sobrang skillful, pero nagtsatsaga sa minimum wage because that is the only available job and they think that that is the only way to survive and make a living. Okay? So now, ibigyan kita ng mga example ng mga napaka-successful na tao na sinunod nila yung passion nila, sinunod nila yung skills nila, sinunod nila yung talent nila, and now they are so successful and globally, they they can inspire you, they can, um, uh, uh, you will learn something from them. Example, Walt Disney, okay? So si Walt Disney, mahilig siya sa mga puppets, mahilig siya sa yung daga, si Mickey Mouse. Okay, so gumawa siya ng, ng, ng isang puppet na daga si Mickey Mouse and dinala niya nun sa Hollywood. Sabi niya, um, aside, uh, instead of hiring so many uh, actors and actresses that are famous, sabi niya, bakit hindi natin palitan ng, hi, Aki, shout out to your mom who's my mentor from <laughs> my previous company, hi, Ate Malu. Okay, sabi niya, um, palitan ng ano ng gano ng mga puppet. So sabi ng mga nasa Hollywood, why when we use a mouse, they will scare a lot of women. Pero hindi sumuko si Walt Disney and for so many times nagfail siya. 
okay, akala niya hindi siya magbe-benefit from his passion na gamitin yung mga puppet, no? Mahilig siya sa mga puppet. But look at Walt Disney now. Kung hindi dahil kay Walt Disney, hindi may entertain yung mga kids sa cinema. It is a billion dollar industry in, in movie industry and company, I mean. And grabe talaga yung Walt Disney nowadays, guys. And isa to sa mga nagpapa young at hard sa ating mga sa ating mga viewers worldwide. Tama po ba? So, imagine from failures to success. Okay? Naging ganun si Walt Disney just because he followed his uh, passion. Look at KFC now. Colonel uh, Sandler of KFC. Uh, you know what happened with him? On the 1009th uh, times na reject siya sa fried chicken niya. Lahat ng bahay kinatok niya, lahat ng office kinatok niya at the age of 65 years old nag-retire siya na ang pera niya is only 5,000 peso sa pera natin. Okay? Uh, $100. And then, umupo siya sa isang puno. Sabi niya, saan ko dadalhin yung buhay ko ngayon? Retire na ako. I worked so hard all my life. And now, the only talent, skill, and uh, passion niya is to cook fried chicken. Okay? So, ngayon, um, paano niya papakinabangan yung skill na yun? Matanda na siya, but he didn't quit. Okay? It is a proof that uh, no matter what your age is, ga gano'n ka man kabata o katanda, success is possible if you will grab it. So, he went to uh, Kentucky City, the whole Kentucky City. Lahat ng uh, bahay, lahat ng office kinatok niya, nagpa-free taste siya ng fried chicken until 1,008 times he failed. Okay? For 1,009 times, may naniwala wala sa kanya. Okay guys, and now KFC is one of the biggest, it's one of my favorite pagdating sa gravy, okay? So that's Colonel Sandler. So let's dig into another example. Howard Schultz of uh, Starbucks. Okay, uh, during his time, lahat ng mga Amerikano umiinom ng kape sa bahay lang. Okay? They're grinding their own coffee at home. Pero nung nag siya sa Italy, when he saw how Italian people enjoy their coffee, uh, outside their house, doing business and everything. Sabi niya, pwede rin to sa mga Amerikano. Pwede rin nilang gawin na uh, uminom sila ng coffee uh, right outside their house, uh, business thing, di ba? And look at Starbucks now. Nung una, pinagtatawanan siya ng mga kano. Ba't kami mag spend ng pera para lang sa kape? Okay? Um, iinom ng kape sa labas ng bahay. At Ang hirap no, it's so expensive and at the same time we enjoy coffee right in the convenience of our home. Now Starbucks changed a lot, lots of lives of many people by becoming entrep mga entrepreneurs and business people are doing their thing while having coffee outside the convenience of their house because it increases your mindset and it, it helps you to socialize with other people, meet people. Diba? And um, ayun, uh, ma ma uh, maka magkaroon ka ng focus and productive day. So that's the hardship, no? Starbo pa dati yung Starbucks. Okay? Starbo Street in the US. Okay, now, um, another example is si Thomas Alva Edison. Yung nag-invent uh, ng light. He stick with his passion kasi sobrang gusto niya na makadiscover ng mga things, ano? So he was selling uh, jario sa mga railroads. Okay? And... Um, um, nagtsaga siya, no? And until he discovered how to invent light and pati cinema. Kundi dahil sa kanya walang cinema. But you know guys, how many thousands of times siya nag-fail sa passion niya, sa kanyang uh, skills? Maraming times. Thousands of times, sabi niya. But he didn't quit. And because of him, we have lights. Okay? So, I believe guys, that you are going to focus in your passion, in your skills, you will go a long way. Okay? And ito lang din yung dahilan how I I got my own uh, thing now. I, I, um, I want to inspire you of my failures and all of the struggles that I've been through. Okay? And I know hindi, it's not easy. But pero sa lahat ng mahirap, ito yung pinakamadali. Okay guys? And you know why? Dahil yung passion mo, your skills, your talents, dun ka magiging successful. Okay? Dahil yan yung binigay ng Diyos sa'yo. And each one of us are very unique. So, now, uh, to make this video short, um, and finish everything, okay? Um, why am I doing this? Is because I want to invite all of you guys, okay? I want uh, each and every Filipinos to be part of this group community I call Profit to Fashion. Uh, uh, fashion? Passion, okay? Lumabas yung aking Pinoy ano, uh, accent. 
non-profit to passion community for Filipinos na mag a ng life natin. Doon nyo isi-showcase yung talent nyo, doon nyo ipapakita yung skills nyo, okay? And we will help you connect to the gurus and uh, mentors worldwide who are uh, specifically good in that skill or talent. I will connect you to my mentors worldwide and tuturuan nila kayo for free kung paano mo possibly ma-develop yung talent mo and skills mo and paano mo siya pagkakakitaan. Okay? It is my way of helping and of lifting lives of many Filipinos and at the same time, also yung mga OFWs natin. So, I will give you good examples. For example, okay? Me, personally, ang talent ko is kumain. <laughs> Kahilig ako kumain. So, alam nyo ba guys na pwede nyo pagkakitaan yon And I have so many ways, okay? I have so many um, examples how you can possibly earn money from being malakas kumain. Yeah, you can be a food taster, travel the world, and you can be invited by many hoteliers, no? Na maging food taster nila, travel blogger and everything. You can do that. So, for example, ang passion mo naman is real estate. So, ang gagawin mo is that you, uh, for you to improve your talent about real estate, you are going to help many people who are looking for a home to retire, for a nice house for a family to enjoy living in one specific place. Isho showcase mo dun yung talent mo uh, by guiding and helping people solve their problem and at the same time while helping them making a profit from it okay so kung ang talent mo naman ay magaling kang chef you can make an ebook okay cookbook na makakatulong sa mga mommies na hindi pa marunong magluto o yung mga bagong uh, soon to be mom na hindi pa marunong magluto so you will be helping them how to cook create ebook create a blog create uh, content, di ba? And at the same time, earn money from making books, tutulungan namin kayo. We will teach you everything step by step. Okay? How you can turn that passion into profit. Now, at the same time, uh, for example, if you're a painter, you're a songwriter, okay? And magaling ka sa music, um, there are so many ways, guys, because I believe Filipinos are very talented. Here in Cambodia, a lot of Filipinos here are good singers, okay? Uh, managers and teachers sa uh, English, okay? Uh, um, there are so many ways. So, I hope guys na dun sa community na yon yung uh, Passion to Profit Pinoy community, um, magsama-sama tayo dun. Invite your friends, join the group, and uh, showcase your talent. And uh, we will help you ano, na tell us kung ano yung talent and skills mo. Even if you're an employee, you can uh, do this. Okay? Because this is your passion. Dito ka magaling and um, dito ka magiging successful. So, if you believe that, uh, give me a thumbs up. Okay? So, this is my way of, the, of making a change in the world. And uh, we will be supported by so many friends. Okay? So, Ang daming Cambodians. Ang daming nakikinig sa akin. <laughs> Ang daming Cambodians dito sa likod. Okay, so I think it's it's really, really nice. Invite your friends. Okay? <laughs> Para na din sila mga Pilipino, no? Sweet, caring, malambing. Okay? So, there you go, guys. Uh, join the group, okay? And we will be sharing. Doon, we will all be learners. Okay? We will all learn from each other. Um, lahat tayo doon, learners, and we will all benefit from each other. It's going to be a community of Filipinos um, that will make profit, that will create, uh, you know, benefits from their own talent, okay? And um, I hope na it, it's going to change lives of many uh, Filipinos, you know? Uh, invite your friends, invite your families, and I hope I will start seeing lots of young people as well na magiging successful in that group and community. So all you need to do is to click the link na naka-provide sa video na to and um, enter that link, okay? And uh, join the group, okay? And I will be connecting uh, gurus and experts worldwide, foreigners, Filipinos, okay? Video marketers like Kuya Alan De Leon is going to teach you how to do it possibly, okay? And alam ko na um, step by step you will be able to uh, benefit from your um, from your hobbies, ano? From your passion. Okay guys, uh, I have to go now and thank you so much sa mga umaten po. Share it to your family and friends and if you want to learn more values, uh, just go to my uh, Facebook page which is Princess Gumabon. Hit like para mapanood mo. Lagi ka updated sa mga videos doon. You can also visit my uh, website which is www.princessgumabon.com and I'll, I'll be very pleased and happy na marami kang matutunan ano, and uh, marami kang um, 
ma-acquire na knowledge and ma-motivate ka sa mga videos doon. Have a great day, Filipino friends and families. Stay blessed and bye-bye po. One more clips. Hen sila and dami. <laughs> but uh, they're Cambodians. They don't they don't understand me. Have a great day guys. Bye bye.